Whoa, what's up? Today's video is on a democratic debate. This was debate night two, goddammit. No big highlights. And for anybody, any black person, because this is a motherfucking rebel network and we only talking to black people, for any black people who believe in a democratic process, the Republican process, you gotta feel like a complete idiot at this point. You're watching a fucking two party dictatorship, you idiot. All these fucking people are faking. So for anybody who out there, progressive or you think you safe you a progressive talking points or a liberal oh we're to the left the liberals or democrats gonna help us you are sadly fucking mistaken none of them are gonna help you they still here to bullshit but really what happened at this goddamn debate was the same old bullshit see what happened was see it be gangster shit that really be happening we know Joe Biden came ready like, damn, Kamala Harris got at me, you know, in the last goddamn debate, so I better come ready. So when they came at him, they started out already like, hey, uh, she got at you last time. How you feel about that? He quickly jumps in. Hey, your fucking record just as fucked up as mine. You was locking them niggas up, too. You was tough on crime, too. You dig? Even the people, even the motherfucking Supreme Court justice, even Al Sharpton and them had to come down and tell you to let people out of jail or innocent and fucking man and you still ain't let him down you did and still ain't let him out of jail i mean god damn it but guess what kamala said unlike joe biden she straight up said it hey i support what the fuck i did you don't believe me listen to her and as attorney general of california where i ran the second largest department of justice in the united states second only to the united states department of justice i am proud of the work we did work that has received national recognition See? She proud of the work that she did locking up truant mother, mothers of truant children, even when you're fucking homeless and shit. Fuck if you're sick and I live in California. Sometime the school be acting like your fucking doctors know they ain't enough and shit. You know, they'll be like, hold up. You know, looking at your shit like they some looking for a fucking watermark and shit. God damn it. I'm telling you. And then see, look what they did. How gangster it is. Cause everybody, you it don't take a genius to see that Tulsi Gabbard, the woman to the left dressed in all white is laying up there and try to be she trying to be vice president you know for joe biden i mean for joe biden don't be surprised if it be biden gabbard you dig most likely be the ticket and really the democrats exposed the shit out of themselves they lost like a motherfucker because as hillary i mean as a uh, dumbass kamala laid up there and exposed the shit out of joe biden record you know made him look stupid then they come back and he exposed the shit out of her criminal record and got his friend tulsi gabbard to jump on her, you did they really expose every fucking body. None of y'all is fit to be president, you dig? And Warren over there from the other night, y'all ain't talking about bullshit when you ask them what the fuck they gonna do, huh, and Bernie? Education, uh, free debt, we gonna, uh, dear Democrats, I don't know if you know this, but black people have no intention on paying any student loan debt. It don't matter if you um, erase it or not. We are never going to pay you back. It's kind of like your debt to uh, China. We never going to pay you back. We have no intentions. So Bernie and Elizabeth Warren, can y'all shut the fuck up or come up with a new plan because we don't care. How about you talk about them reparations y'all behind, y'all behind like scared like a motherfucker. Niggas say reparation, they scattering like roaches. What they going to say, uh, I got this plan or remember the old that Bernie Sanders. What he say? I'll tell support this plan by old ass Joe Clark or some fucking body some plan that ain't gonna never go nowhere and that's why he supported you I'll support Joe Rogan's plan for blah blah man get the fuck out of here Elizabeth Warren I'm new I'm progressive and liberal and all of that shit I got a plan too get the fuck out of here fuck out of here none of y'all plans ever work you did and look at the whole the whole fallout of the debate y'all let's talk a little bit about uh what her name marianne williamson now don't be fooled by this marianne williamson shit there's always a left field type of candidate y'all remember a dude named ron paul it's always that person that they like to throw out there to throw around ideas and see how y'all react to it because soon as she got off the stage she asked them how she did look what her campaign manager and shit told her she did okay but really she was the whole fucking talk of the debate she told them y'all need to pay reparations and i'm qualified to say that because that's that's what you owe. You owe them. It's not a uh what Don Lemon dumbass gonna say uh in uh in uh 
incentives or what the fuck he called it a a handout basically something equivalent to a handout uh goddamn don lemon called it and she said it's not that it's a debt you owe these people 30 acres in a motherfucking mule and if you count it up blah 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 you did it's this amount it's this amount 500 million at least and the lady said i ain't taking nothing over under i mean 100 billion that shit gotta be over 500 billion god damn it but was they talking about that that nobody was saying you know what the fallout from debate night one was warren and uh sanders laid up there and fought off them other people nobody they didn't want to jump on that shit that uh marianne williamson was saying because she was totally telling the truth god damn it talking about oppression and everything but what, what she was doing y'all was she was supposed to be the admittance but nobody have the way to attack the problem on how racist their country is and always have been nobody have a way to free that up so none of them should have your vote and once again this is a two-party dictatorship if you if you one of them people who watch these progressive blacks please go tell them how go ask them go say is this a two-party dictatorship because they be caught up too y'all be thinking oh it's just fox and they rooting for the republicans it be the liberal ones too they just try to trick you see both of them racist it's just one got a frown and they straight up with you yeah i'm racist and the other one racist behind your goddamn back yes we'll get you niggas something to eat oh we'll get you a better house but long as you stay under us don't try to get your way up further hold on now nigga you see what i'm saying god damn it don't be fooled by this shit don't be fooled by marianne williamson she's just like they little dog calls they always throw them out like a ron paul or a ralph nader or some old shit like that y'all see what i'm saying like these people it's nothing new here with y'all bullshit and i'm somebody who been watching your little dumbass politics since i was a teenager i know the script with you dumbass people you dig and you're not fooling me no more you ain't fooling btn no goddamn more once again y'all holler at me